Now, in this question, if there is major deficiency of antibodies, how would we come to know through a blood test? So, what would we look for in the blood test? Now, we know these antibodies, they are proteins which are globular. So, that is why they are also called immunoglobulins as well as gamma globulins. So, we should be looking for them. So, out of these options we have serum globulins and that would be our choice and the answer is 1. Let us move on to question 102. In question 102, in human females meiosis 2 is not completed until. Now, we know that at the time of ovulation the secondary oocyte is released. That secondary oocyte is suspended at metaphase 2 and the remaining meiosis 2 would be completed only after the sperm entry. So, that would be at the time of fertilization. So, our answer would be 3. So, during fertilization when the sperm enters then only the remaining division is completed, the ovum is formed immediately followed by completion of syngamy. Now, let us move on to the next question 103. Which of the following layers in an antral follicle? Now, antral follicle is the follicle in which the fluid filled space that is antrum has been formed. So, once the antrum is formed it is called antral follicle and before that like the primary follicle that would be called preantral follicle. So, which of the layer around it is acellular? Now, here if we see the choices stroma is simply the connective tissue which is filled in the ovary. So, it has nothing to do with the follicle. Now, next one theca interna this is a cellular layer made up of theca cells it covers the follicle granulosa layer again made up of granulosa cells while zona pellucida is a glycoproteinaceous layer secreted by the oocyte itself. So, this is the acellular layer. So, the answer would be 1. Now, let us switch to question number 104. 